What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ghost Prodigy and welcome back to another Elden Ring boss guide video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Valiant Gargoyle Twins. Uh, this is actually a pretty hard boss fight if you can do it by yourself. Obviously if you have friends and you summon them this boss fight becomes a total freaking joke. But if you are going to do it by yourself and you don't have anybody to play with for whatever damn reason, here's quick tip on how to beat them. So you're gonna wanna have your mimic tier summon ready to go and you're also gonna want to use the arena. But first off, when you first spawn in here, you're just gonna wanna deal as much damage as possible to the first one. You wanna get his HP as low as possible before the other one, the other one spawns. It, sometimes it depends when the other one spawns, but usually it's about halfway through this one's health. Sometimes it could be less, sometimes it could be a little bit more if you get lucky. But that's the first step. The reason for this is you want to have this guy as low HP as possible. The first gargoyle. Because when the second one spawns, it's going to be really hard to fight both of them. And usually the second one doesn't attack you right away. So again, try and deal as much damage as possible. I chose the Mimic to summon just because it's one of the better ones. It doesn't specifically have to be the Mimic one. Although I would rec or highly recommend that one. But it can be any other summon that is basically, um, you know some of the good ones so soon as the second one spawns you're gonna run to the back of the map and the reason we're doing this is because the arena has this big pillar and this is the one I'm running towards and that is enough of a big of um, basically obstruction to separate both of them this is gonna give you a safe spot to summon your mimic so that you don't get hit it's also gonna give you a chance to heal after summoning your mimic or drink the blue drink if you summon one of the other summons and basically this is just gonna serve as a distraction whatever summon you summoned is gonna focus on the other gargoyle and you're gonna wanna hope that the other gargoyle hope uh, focuses on him as well this gives you a chance to just go ham on the first one like I said this is why you want to bring him to the lowest HP as possible just because the other gargoyle is pretty much gonna do or make quick work of whatever summon you chose uh, if you don't have an upgraded so try and have him pretty highly upgraded so that he doesn't die right away and then just take out the first one right before or you know before he takes out your summon alright so as soon as you take out the first gargoyle turn right around and go help out your summon take out the second one you're gonna want to have him last as long as possible so he can help you deal as much damage to the second one as possible so like I said this is why I chose the mimic tier because the mimic tier does heal now I'm not sure if there's other summons that heal but that's why I chose the mimic so from here on out it's just basically a 1v1 versus the last gargoyle and like I said in the beginning of the video the reason why this is more focused towards a melee character is because if you are a caster and you have sorcery just blast these guys with sorcery they're actually kind of weak to it so uh, that actually brings up another good point is if you guys have any type of sorcery uh, buffs for your weapon apply those as well you saw me in the beginning I applied some uh, electricity on my sword that probably wasn't the best one and I should have just used the dark magic uh, resin or grease as it's called in this game I'm so used to just dark souls you know lingo and stuff but uh, Another tip I want to give you guys is, and I brought this up in the beginning of the video, is this pillar in the back of the arena. You could use this pillar as a, a viable strategy to fight the gargoyle and use it against them. There's a lot of things that the game gives you to fight these enemies, and this is one of them. Sometimes the arenas actually help you out. So if you're having a lot of trouble keeping this guy off, you just run around this thing, and it should give you an advantage you know, to try and get him off of you. But that's pretty much gonna do it guys I mean so just a quick recap remember to deal as much damage to the first one as possible remember to bring your mimic to summon or any other summon that's highly upgraded remember to buff up your weapon and use the arena to give you an advantageous position against these guys that's gonna do it for this video guys so if you guys enjoyed what you guys watched please make sure to leave a like rating as that helps me out a lot remember to subscribe and as always it's been your boy ghost prodigy and I'll see you on the next one peace